Okay, and on to my spiritual experience number three that sticks out. And uh, this was not too much longer after the last one where I had a dream of my grandpa with the uh, tree of life or whatever that was. So at this point, I had roommates and I was 20, almost 21, I believe. I might have been 21. Um, we lived in Provo, Utah in some BYU college apartments. Um, and again, I was doing my best. I was living my best life. I was praying. I was on the right path still. I, I had still taken my my grandfather's advice and was on the right path. Um, and one of our favorite things to do was to go read scriptures at the Provo Temple. And I remember this one day, uh, again, I, I can picture it so clearly. I can close my eyes and I'm sitting there again. And we were just sitting on the temple grounds and we were both sharing a little bench. Um, and we were facing each other and we had our scriptures out and we had been reading and sharing and sharing our testimonies of, you know, how we knew God was real and our feelings about that. And we were both, you know, looking down and reading and we both looked up at the same exact time and we both looked in the same direction. There was nobody there, by the way. There was no temple services going on. There was no one there at all. And you could hear trumpets just playing the most harmonious tune of praising God. I mean, that's the only thing that I can explain what it was. It was as though the heavens opened and angels were just singing praises to God. And it was incredible. And as we looked around, I could see we both could at the same time we could see multitudes and multitudes and multitudes of spirit all beaming with love and they were so pleased with what we were doing. I mean, think of it. We are young adult women and instead of being out partying on a Saturday, no less, we were at the temple reading scriptures. I mean, that's just not, it's not normal. And these spirits, I don't know if they were related to us. I don't know if they knew us from the other side, from the pre-existence, but they were so pleased and they were just clapping and just singing these praises. And it was incredible. I know for a fact that there's life after this. And I know that our loved ones are watching over us constantly and they're watching over you. And they just have an adoring amount of love for you, for me, for everybody, because at the end of the day, we are all brothers and sisters in spirit. If you're wondering if there's life after this, pray, ask God, and he will show you. I promise you that. If you ask him, he will show you. Um, so that's it for uh, my third spiritual experience that stands out to me. If you would like to hear more, then subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a blessed day.